When you're getting corn off the cob, put a small bowl upside down in a large bowl. Take a good sharp knife and just spin the corn and the corn collects in the larger bowl. This is very clever. This is a cooling rack for like when you're baking your holiday cookies and all that. But I use it to make a big batch of guacamole. Check it out. Your charred or fresh avocado. Squish. Done. Hot, right? That's hot. Hey guys, the next time you have to slice a lot of cherry tomatoes, don't go one by one with a paring knife. Take out some deli lids. Fill the bottom lid with a lot of cherry tomatoes, put an extra lid up on top, make one cut, and slice all those tomatoes at one time. Works for grapes, too, if you're feeding little ones. And then we'll mix the dry. <laughs> then take an ice cream scooper. Isn't that awesome when you're making cupcakes or muffins? Amazing. You get I identical portions for everybody. You don't end up in the end with some of them bubbling over oh and God. some of them being too short. It's awesome. I'm stealing that idea yeah, for sure. It's a good one. Look how perfectly that goes in. This Isn't is that awesome? It's really fun and easy. And then it comes out exactly even all the time. Amazing. It. It's a good tip. If you don't have one of these little juicers at home, a great tip is to just squeeze the lemon cut side up. The seeds stay with the lemon and don't fall down into whatever you're cooking or, or, or preparing. When it comes to freezing food, remember flat is best. Just take a durable freezer bag for stability if you're dealing with liquids. Place it in a bowl or a large measuring cup like this. Then fill your hot soup or stew or sauce in there. Let it cool completely and store it nice and flat. Once it's frozen, you could stack these up like 10, 12 high. Guys, when you bring home beautiful fresh basil from the grocery store, do not head for your fridge. Basil hates the cold. Doesn't like water much either. You need to treat it like fresh cut flowers. Trim the bottoms, put it in clean water, change that water every couple of days, leave it on the counter, not in the fridge, and then cover it with a plastic food storage bag. This creates a little greenhouse and the basil will not only not go bad, it'll continue to grow. You'll use every last leaf.